I think we had a really very interesting uh, panel on agriculture. Uh, we were very honored to have the minister, Mr. Karimov, come. Um, what I can remember also is that we uh, really uh, saw how education seemed to be a big problem in agriculture. There was also a lot of uh, talk about logistics. And uh, of course, we discussed foreign uh, uh, trade and foreign investments. And uh, we were happy to see that uh, a lot of people uh, approved and wanted uh, foreign investments in the agricultural and food sector. We're just out of the construction machinery sector. It's been a great panel with Deputy Minister for the Economy, Safarov, and six panelists from the construction and machinery industry. We are talking about the second sector of the economy in Azerbaijan after oil and gas, a sector that's showing double-digit growth this year and that deserved uh, really uh, to dig deep to see what opportunities can arise also for European companies. This is a very promising area where European companies and institutions can work on together with the Azerbaijani partners in the coming years. We once more felt a, um, a very deep support from the Azerbaijan government to the subject of uh, logistics and transport. Uh, the minister himself, Mr. Guluzade, uh, attended and, and made a keynote speech. We had a, a very interesting panelist. We have a representative from railways, uh, from the shipping, uh, from World Bank. Uh, the main emphasis, though, was uh, on the necessity to expand the cooperation with another state surrounding to make uh, the corridors uh, more competitive in the global chain of transportation. We just finished discussing the panel of ICT and e-commerce. Definitely the sector of ICT and e-commerce is a high priority for the Azerbaijani government and it's the fastest oil growing non-oil sector. And definitely Azerbaijan is due to become a digital hub and a key part of connectivity with Europe and the rest of the world due to the efforts of the Ministry of Transport and High Technologies.